Hey, what's up, Trading Addicts? Welcome to the Weekly Watch List. This is Jeff Kohler, a.k.a. The Option Addict, from over at www.tradingaddicts.com. If I start things off with a little bit of market analysis here, um, we're in grind mode, right? We've been calling for that ever since we got that breakup north of 1300. We talked about the uh, broad market getting into grind mode where we just kind of drift higher. And I, I still think that we're in that. The only thing I would watch for here is uh, the 1332 level, which is exactly you know 100% of the the 666 lows. But if uh, if we were to go beyond that, and you were to ask me what my price objective would be on the S and P's, I would say higher. So the way that things look right now, I don't have any real big macro calls. There's one you know there's one thing that we've been talking about lately, which has been the bearish divergence between emerging markets and S and P's. If I were going to make a bigger market call, broad market call this week, I would say that emerging markets uh, start ripping a little bit. And in going through, I'm going to throw a few ETFs at you. Take a look at the volume levels uh, seen in the EEM. We can use the uh, IFN. We can use the AFK. You'll see that volume levels have kicked it up quite a notch, and it seems like there was a pretty big rotation into emerging markets on Friday. So I would bet that you've got a lot of traders betting on lows here, and that will probably see emerging markets start ripping a little bit. Uh, like I said, look you know, look at all these ETFs I'm throwing out at you, and you'll see there's, there's some pretty big volume levels in any one of these. So my bet is that you'll see a few more longs get interested in the emerging markets trade. So if you're short, if you've been, let's say, in a pairs trade, S&P versus EEM, or short emerging markets, you might want to look to uh, take some profits, look for some strength in the next couple of days, because that's some uh, pretty significant volume, and prices are pretty darn oversold as they sit right here right now. Uh, a couple of uh, individual trades I like off of that would be, like, take, for example, uh, a BBB, BBD, uh, an SQM, a PBR, SID. A lot of these line up at some pretty good action points, but you'll take a lot of look at these stocks like uh, Tata Motors or IBN, and look at some of the foreign banks and whatnot. You'll see some pretty big volume levels in these as well. So, I, I like I said, I think there might be a pretty big rotation and a little bit upside in the emerging markets trades next week. So keep an eye out for those, especially if you happen to be short. Uh, aside from that, we'll look at individual stocks because I think that's where you want to be right now. Uh, if the market is in grind mode, we just focus on the individual trades, right? Here's some of the setups that I love. Uh, the casinos off of MGM on Monday morning. So if MGM perks up a little bit, I think you want to take a look at this Las Vegas Sands uh, position. Now, I've, I've got along here. I've actually got along in MGM as well, giving that a try. Uh, but if MGM comes out a little hot like wind did on Friday, then you'll ought to see Las Vegas Sands rip on up to about 50 or so to the upper end of its range. So keep an eye on that. Also, uh, over at Trading Addicts, we happen to get into some Google calls. We've been watching Google all day on Friday, and sure enough, it popped out of that 620 level, ran up to about 625. Uh, we could see some more upside this week, and I'm positioned in some calls here looking for some more upside. The 30-minute chart looks pretty good from here to go higher. So we might see a little bit of a retest, but I'm thinking that uh, Google might try to fill some of that space up overhead. And if it does, you definitely want to target the weekly options. Those have been unbelievable in terms of returns. Uh, I like the way that uh, Faro looks right here, FOE, which has been basically consolidated, not doing much, but looking ready for a breakout this week. I also think uh, on the heels of the emerging markets trade, you might want to take a look at steel stocks. Uh, AK Steel looks really good, as well as U.S. Steel. Those are two of my favorites. Uh, but Steel Dynamics has been holding up really, really well. You might see a nice little bear, bullish breakout from that as well, uh, up to about 20 or so, which would be my price objective. Uh, as for coal stocks, you know, if we talk about uh, coal plays, I'm not. I, I like BTU. That's really my my only favorite here. The little inverse head and shoulder pattern looks pretty constructive, but you know, outside of that, that's really all I've got in coal names. The only one I really like. Uh, NOG uh, has a pretty similar pattern. Nice little bullish breakout up over 28. That stock looks good to go higher. I like this developing pattern here in uh, in Broadcom. To me, this looks like a decent spot to anticipate along. Easy to manage. 
thinking Rambus might go this week. It's been coiled up for uh, quite some time. We've been following this one for quite a while and got a little bit of volume there on Friday. So look for a breakout on Monday. Off of the solar energy trade, I really, really like the setup in uh, SunTech, STP. Here's the pattern. I happen to take a position here on Friday, so I'm not trying to pump my own stuff. I'm just saying there's still, it looks to me like there's still some upside. Break above the 200-day, which would also put us up above these highs, puts that stock up to above 10. So I, I don't think it's too late. I, the stock only moved about 2% here on Friday, but if the solar stocks still look good, that should be a pretty strong breakout. Uh, EBIX. I'll be looking for a breakout there. And last but not least, I like this little flag set up in the volume here in uh, Boise. So as it breaks out of this flag, I could get long that name as well. Now on to a few of the $10 darlings that I like this week. I'm going to just rip through a few of them. FXEN. Watch this little consolidation pattern here for a breakout. You can see a little, uh, little pennant, a little wedge, a little flag, whatever you want to call it. Really like the setup and form. Love this little flag here. We're looking for a break above the 200 day this week. IBCP. Love this little bank here. It's been pretty dormant up through here at these highs, but I think if it gets up above about 430 or so, it's going to rip on up to about 5.5. EMMS. Oh, coiled up all nice and neat here. Should be a nice little move up towards the 200 day moving average. AMCN, been waiting for this one to break for quite some time. Looks like we're getting pretty darn close to that point. Uh, I'm about I'm about to pound the table on this USAT. This little 20-day chart looks very, very clean, very constructive. And this looks like the spot right here for the next run. I, I've got along here, but I'm looking to add. Uh, let's see, BQI, I like that spot right here. I like uh, Flowtech, as a matter of fact, right here, right now. T-I-I-I, -I -I, same similar setup, looks looks pretty good here. Uh, two more, NCT, all coiled up, love the REITs theme right now, I like it a lot. And then CERS, another spot where price is just kind of coiled up, looking for a breakout from this pattern to see a nice little run up to the highs on up yonder. And that's that's just about about half of the ten dollar dollars that I'm watching that are actionable right out the gates here on Monday. And we'll talk about a few others of those as the week progresses. But uh, you know we look like we're in grind mode, guys, and the the trend is pretty hard to fight right now. So I'm just looking to you know continue buying some dips, anticipating breakouts and some some longs. If conditions change and convince me to do otherwise, I'll let you know. But this has been the routine and it seems to be working just fine so hopefully you guys will have some uh, fun with these setups here have a profitable week in the meantime this has been the option addict that's been my watch list thanks for watching have an awesome week